Hey guys, HB here and welcome back to another hot books review. You guys really like the first one that I did with The Other Side of the Sky, the one right here. So I decided to uh, review another book for you guys. But before that, we got to make our hot chocolate first. Well, the book that I am going to be reviewing for you guys today is actually a fan favorite for a lot of supernatural paranormal fans out there and it is the first book of the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. When I first picked up this book I only heard good things about it. Everyone was loving it, everyone was recommending it. I was on book talk and people were like oh my gosh that is such a good book. I remember reading that in middle school. It's one of my favorites till this day. I was really really excited to read it and I don't love it. I'll go into details right now. The first category we have on the review is the book cover and I really like this. I give it a 5 out of 5. I just love how dark it looks. Like, it's so edgy, so dark. There's not a lot of colors. There's only, what, like three colors, black, gray, and uh, red. I think it really does a good job on letting the readers know what they are about to dive into. So... Five out of five for me for the cover. The next thing we're going to talk about is the plot. The book is about a girl named Nora Gray and she is currently in her biology class. I think it's biology in high school and she ends up getting a new sea partner who turns out to be this very dark, mysterious, very dangerous guy. They end up running into each other like outside of school a lot and he seems to know a lot about her that she has never shared with him. Very early in the book she actually figures out who he really is and is caught in between the battles between the immortals and the fallen. I'm not gonna lie, the storyline is what saved me from like disliking the book. It gives off a very dark, edgy, and like mysterious vibes but depending on how good you are with mystery, this book could be actually really easy to catch on to. I found it very easy to catch on to. Just, you know, just a good thing to keep in mind. For the fact that I don't hate the storyline, but at the same time, I'm not like obsessed with it, I'm going to be giving the plot a solid three out of five. Now, this is where mad points dropped for me and it's the characters. I'm sorry, but something about the main girl, the main character, Nora, I find very annoying. She basically tells herself throughout the whole book that Patch, who is our main fallen angel, that he is a dangerous guy. He gives off very bad energy, very dark vibes, but yet she still falls in love with him. I love young adult paranormal, supernatural fantasy books, and I have my fair share of very cringy, cliche romance that honestly makes no sense and I love it. But this, something about this was not right. This did not sit well with me. All the other characters weren't so bad. The personality that you meet from the beginning of the book with each character sticks with them till the end of the book. I don't think there's any sense of character development whatsoever within the characters but with Patch and even Patch it wasn't so dramatic because he's kind of honestly still the douche that he was in the beginning. For that I'm going to be giving characters a 2 out of 5. I really did not enjoy it. I'm sorry for those who loved Patch, who loved all the other characters. I did not like it. Overall, I give this book a 7 out of 10. It's not a bad book, but it's very predictable. If you're like me and you have read like a decent amount of supernatural, paranormal books, then it's very predictable what's going to happen. The plot twist honestly was not a plot twist. This is going to go two ways. If you're like me and you have never read this book when you were younger, but now you're a lot older, you have read a decent amount of paranormal, fantasy, supernatural books, I don't really recommend it. But on the flip side, if you are very new to the supernatural world and you have not read a lot of books that involve like immortals, fallen angels, werewolves, vampires, etc., I would say go ahead. The book isn't so terrible to the point where you're like, what is this? Like, what am I reading? This is so boring. This is so dumb. The book moves at a very steady pace. So if you are a beginner, I feel like there is a lot of things going on for you not to be so confused and overwhelmed with the world. Also just gonna just put it out there, if you have read this book when you're younger and you have loved it, it's like one of your favorite series, you love Pat, she's like one of your favorite book boyfriends, don't reread it. I've been reading a lot of comments on different platforms of people trying to reread it or who have reread it and they wish that they never did. I'm sure when this book first came out when I was in middle school and I read it then, I would have loved it. But now that I'm in my 20s, reading this book is just not it. So, 
that was it for the book review of Hush Hush. I hope you guys liked it. I actually did start the second book of the series called Crescendo yesterday. I am definitely going to be doing a spoiler free as well as a spoiler video because I'm just saying I got a lot to say about that book so stay tuned for that. I'll probably post that next week. I'm just having a really tough time getting through it and that's saying a lot. So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually really curious to know what your thoughts are with this book so please leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to every single one of them. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with HB. Bye! Take it to the